Hello and welcome back guys to our channel. So on our previous video regarding Blazor, so we successfully created a model based on our SQL Server 2019 database and we also created an API. So now we will just use this API and create some pages so that we can create, read and update records from our SQL Server 2019 database. So now let's create the functionality for edit so this one so let's go first to our index and add a here. customer then we will edit and then pass the cost ID so the specific uh, customer that we want to now let's go to the component the component okay yeah close then cut okay It will with the type of long. Okay. Second this thing so next thing is we need to create the async task to edit customer Customer, then we pass the first. Okay. So, but this one is edit, so supposedly we need to get first our specific customer that we want to add so we need to do a selected override async task on parameter set async so here we will get Customer eight get this is which is a customer type which will be coming from our API and we do a string interpolation here so we can pass the customer ID. So this one it will call the pi protocol this one where we pass the id not this one okay so next thing that we need to do is create a edit form but we already have it inside the create uh, component so we don't want to repeat ourselves so instead of copying this and paste it to the edit uh, component so we will transfer this 
piece of uh, code block into another component so that we can use it on both create and edit so let's create another component so but we will call it customer form So inside this customer form, we we'll just copy this code block. Okay. So, but be careful when copying codes from Blazor. As you notice here, there's bind space dash value. But on this one, there's no space. So we need to correct this. So next thing that we need to do is to create some parameters. Same problem again. So we need to close it first so that our intelligence will work. One is customer. Okay, next thing that we need to do is create this for this. Green. Admit text. Create another one for text. And then we need to create an event callback for this on valid submit. After that event callback, so this event callback we will just pass a method here. And another callback for our This we do this. The link in here and customer. Okay. So now we will use this customer form component on our. Okay, so we need to pass some parameter. So first one is the customer. Customer equals to add customer. This one we need to pass a one submit or the submit text. So we pass the app, create customer. And lastly, this is the on back click. We call the back click. So now let's try if our create customer still works after we transfer the code to our customer form component. So let's test it. Customer new it so it still works so now let's just use the new component to our edit component so let's just this 
place it here here customer edit go back First, we need to inject here and MGM. Okay, check first on the edit. Oh, let's try now the edit function customer and edit this AAA. So it's loaded the data. Let's push the PVV for the customer. Error. Okay. Also, that's the error. Down. Customer. Check. Edit. Ah, this one. Post. Should be put. Because we are editing data so let's try again customer edit change to pvvv so as you can see it was success so now since we have the create and delete function we will now create the functionality for delete so we just create a async task as delete customer so this one should accept a customer id then we do a await http delete async call the api customer and then we will pass the customer id so we'll do a string interpolation here so instead of doing the plus sign customer id okay and after delete we will call the load customer okay so we need to call this when we click the delete button so we we'll just do add and click so we we'll do the non function delete customer plus okay so let's try if our delete is working okay so let's click customer and then choose one so let's choose this delete so as you can see it is deleting okay click another one and then delete another one so but unfortunately when we click delete it is automatically just delete the record but it is not asking us if we really wanted to delete this record so for this we need to create a pop-up window or a model window from where we have a button or click yes or no so once we click yes it will delete the record if it's no it will just redirect us back to our record but we will do this on the next video so thanks for watching so hopefully you learned something from this and see you on my next video don't forget to click share like and subscribe thank you very much bye